Winter is coming, and it's coming fast. We've just got a couple months left. What is it going to mean for you in this winter? Well, we've got snow, ice, and severe weather concerns in some abnormal areas, thanks to a developing El Nino, which we haven't had in four years. We've got the details on that and the temperature trends with it, as well as more in this video. One Nation Weather. All right, thank you so much for joining me here. El Nino is in place, heading into winter for the first time in four years. That's according to NOAA, as the last event we had was going into 2019. Now, in terms of the normal El Nino influence, warmer than average air is expected as some ridging develops over the northwestern part of the country. Drier conditions into portions of the Ohio Valley with wetter and overall cooler conditions with an active subtropical jet across um, southern parts of the country. So let's go through my winter precipitation forecast. I've got slightly drier than average conditions over portions of, say, Montana, eastern Idaho, northern Wyoming, go going over through portions of the Dakotas, and on over into the Great Lakes region. That's how we've, as we'll have a little bit of ridging just to the north and west of that area and developing into that area, and that will kind of help, help to block out systems throughout the winter with not much in the way of polar jet stream dips moving through that area. Now, where it's expected to be above average in the precipitation department is along the west coast, portions of the southern tier of the country. And then along the east coast. So basically, if you're not in the north central tier, expect slightly or even more than slightly above average precipitation. As you can see, some of these zones and portions of Washington, Oregon, as well as California getting in on above average precipitation by a good bit in that area, I think, based on some of the past you know, data that I've seen going all the way back into portions of the 1900s, that's when we continually saw with strong El Nino events like we're seeing this winter, precipitation above average, especially in the parts of the Pacific Northwest. Now, in terms of your precipitation, the highest likelihood of above average precipitation, in fact, if not a guarantee for above average precipitation, this comes into portions of Florida, portions of South Georgia, portions of the Carolinas. That's where it's really looking like this is going to be moving through along the Gulf and Southeast Coast, especially, as we'll have low pressure systems that develop in the Gulf move northward and kind of ride up the East Coast. And some of those will help to keep the precipitation at least a little bit above average with the northeasterly flow. And when those systems move through, that northeasterly flow, the wind coming in from the northeast could certainly help to pull down some pull down some cooler air and provide the chance for at least a little bit more snowfall than usual up the east coast. Now with your winter temperature forecast, about the northern half of the country is expected to be at least slightly above average here. But what you're going to see in a minute is that many areas are going to be well above average, and that's what we typically see with El Nino. Anywhere from portions of Northern California, portions of Oregon and Washington, moving on over through the Dakotas, Minnesota, and then over into portions of the Great Lakes region. All of these areas, that's where I'd be watching for pretty minor to moderate above average anomalies for us here in these zones, you know, talking at least a few degrees above average over the course of the winter in some of these locations. And then where we're expected to be the highest chance, and if not the highest you know, amount above average. That's where we're going to be talking about this well above average zone here in the portions of Minnesota, portions of Wisconsin, moving on over into Michigan. That's what normally happens with El Nino. And back into the 1900s, continuously we've seen this area be above average, no matter what type of El Nino you see. So with a strong one, I'm really expecting things to be above average there in that zone. And the only area I have cooler than average is here in the portions of Texas, the Arklatex region, moving on over into Mississippi, Alabama, as well as South Georgia and portions of the panhandle of Florida, where we'll get some of those systems and the continual rainfall chances to keep things a little bit cooler than average. In terms of your winter severe weather pro probability here, I've got a, a little bit of a chance for you there in the portions of the southwest California coast and the portions of Arizona, but overall the best possibility for severe weather will come out of the south central, move into the southeast, not really making it up the coast into the northeast, where you can see the best chance for severe weather is going to be. We've already seen an event like this this year where we had some tornadoes just a couple of weeks ago as El Nino starts to kick in. This is in Florida where I'm expecting the most severe weather. And then in terms of your winter snowfall compared to average, I'm just showing you overall the areas where it's going to be likely less um, than normal and the areas where it's likely going to be more than normal. The four corners and into portions of the southern plains, that's where I'm expecting a pretty decent chance of more than normal in, in the snowfall department. Whereas the northern tier, that's where it's going to be less likely to see snowfall. Warm and wet into portions of the Pacific Northwest. Stormy into portions of the Southwest as well as into the Arklatex. Near average here into portions of the Mountain West overall with likely unusually snowy conditions there in the four corners. Keeping it warm and dry over portions of Idaho, Montana and into the Ohio Valley. Very warm and dry into portions of the Great Lakes. 
Meanwhile, very wet over portions of the southeast, severe weather continuing into portions of Florida throughout the winter, and continual systems into portions of the northeast. So to recap, warmer than average over most of the, most of the northern part of the country, cooler than average in just a slight area there into portions of the Arklatex as I see it right now. What's going to be a really big trend, though, is the fact that it's going to be very wet here in the southeast, and that's what we see with El Nino. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Here are the credits. I also use noaclimate.gov and some other sources. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please subscribe.